Hey, Sam from 3D here. Today we'll talk about why Blender is free and also how is it free. It all starts with this man, Tan Rosendahl, a Dutch software developer and now film producer. Rosendahl studied industrial design in Eindhoven before founding the animation studio Neo Geo in 1989. It quickly became the largest 3D animation studio in the Netherlands. At the time there was a Japanese video game with the same name, but they are not related. In the same year, he wrote a ray tracer called Traces for the Omega, and in 1995 he decided to start the development of in-house tools for 3D animation based on traces and tools that Neo Geo had already written. This tool was later named Blender. Fun fact number one, the name Blender Blender was inspired by a song by the Swiss electronic band Yellow from the album Baby, which Neo Geo used in its showreel. On January 1, 1998, Blender was released publicly online as freeware. Neo Geo was later shut down and its client contracts were taken over by another company. After Neo Geo's dissolution, Tan founded Nova Number Technologies in June 1998 to further market and develop Blender. At the core of man was a desire to create and distribute a compact cross-platform 3D application for free. At the time, this was a revolutionary concept as most commercial 3D applications cost thousands of dollars. NAND's business model involved providing commercial products and services around Blender. After great success in a SIGGRAPH conference in early 2000, NAND secured financing of 4.5 million euros from venture capitalists. Unfortunately, NAND's ambitions and opportunities did not match the company's capabilities and the market realities of the time. This overextension resulted in restarting NAND with new investor funding and a smaller company in April 2001. Six months later, NAND's first commercial software product, Blender Publisher, was launched. Due to low sales and the ongoing difficult economic climate, the new NAND investors decided to shut down all operations in early months of 2002, signaling the end of Blender development. Fun fact number two, it was clear that NAN would not survive. But as a last personal touch, the artists and developers decided to add a 3D model of a chimpanzee head. Named Monkey, it was created by Willem Paul Van Overbruggen, who named it Susan, after the orangutan in the Kevin Smith film J and Silent Bob Strike Back. Tan could not justify leaving Blender to die, and since restarting a company with a sufficiently large team of developers was not feasible, Tan Rosendahl founded the non-profit organization Blender Foundation in March 2002. The Blender Foundation's primary goal was to find a way to continue developing and promoting Blender as a community-based open-source project. In July 2002, Tom managed to get the main investors to agree to a unique Blender Foundation plan to attempt to release Blender as open-source. The free Blender campaign sought to raise 100,000 euros so that the foundation could buy the rights to the Blender source code and intellectual property rights from the main investors and subsequently release Blender to the open-source community. With an enthusiastic group of volunteers, among them several ex and employees. A fundraising campaign was launched to free Blender. The campaign reached the 100,000 euros goal in only seven weeks. On Sunday, October 13, 2002, Blender was released to the world under the terms of the GNU GPL. Today, Blender is free and open source software, largely developed by its community as well as 24 employees employed by the Blender Institute, all led by Blender's original creator, Tan Rosendahl. It's free because of Tan and the community passion to not let the project die. Tan always wanted for more people to just be creative. Making Blender open is totally the best thing I, I, I could ever do. Yeah. But suddenly you got a whole interesting community dynamic going around, right? I want to make stuff. Yeah. Whether that's software or 3D or designs or building teams or companies. Or I want to make stuff. I, I, that's my passion. The Blender Foundation makes money from people and companies who donate to its development. It will be free forever due to its licensing. No one can buy Blender. This was a short history on why Blender is free and how it makes money being a free product. I hope this video was informative to you and I hailed your curiosity. Check out our channel for plenty of tutorials on Blender and CGI in general. All the sources used to make this script are in the description below. If you want to be around like-minded people, go to our Discord in the description down below. Give us a like and a subscribe to feed the algorithm. And comment down below what should our next video be about. Bye.